Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on my channel, Meg's Movies. If you are new to this channel, this is basically where I talk to you guys about my passion for movies. This goes from collections, hauls, reviews, and to today's video, so let's get into it. Okay, so with Halloween Ends coming out, I figured why not actually finally watch the whole entire Halloween franchise. Now, just to be clear, I have seen the original, I have seen the two Rob Zombie films, and I have seen Halloween Halloween Kills. So I have seen at least five of them. However, I have not seen any of the original franchise. So, because Netflix currently have them on there for free, and also are uh, coming out, not coming out, <laughs> stopping um, by the 30th of September, I thought, why not use this as a good opportunity to finally be able to watch the entire Halloween franchise. And I thought, why not, seeing as pretty much nearly half of the franchise are going to be first time reviews, why not review the series in prep for Halloween Ends? So, of course, today we start with the original Halloween. So, yes. So, let's get into this. Okay, so just a quick plot summary because I think everybody pretty much knows by now what Halloween is and so I don't really have to go over too much with that. So, this is about a little kid called Michael Myers and on Halloween night he kills his sister. Um, he's then put in a psychiatric ward for 15 years, I think, and then 15 years later, um, he escapes from that ward and heads back to Haddonfield, which is where he lives. Um, and of course we were introduced to the character Laurie Strode, who is just an ordinary babysitter. She's just babysitting a couple of kids. And of course Michael Myers decides to stalk Laurie Strode. And basically, this is just Michael wreaking havoc on Halloween night. I'm not going to say any more than that. I'm just going to leave it at that because everybody knows the story of Michael Myers anyway. So, yeah. So, my thoughts on this. I'm not going to lie. I do struggle to get into the Halloween movies. Like, even, even the Rob Zombie, even the two Halloween, the most recent ones... I don't know what it is, but it's just, with this franchise, I do struggle to get into this. I mean, this is now the third time I have watched the original Halloween. And I do enjoy it. I do like the aspect of it. I like the fact that Michael doesn't say anything. He's very creepy. The fact that he doesn't even run at his victim. He, he just walks. The fact that he knows for a fact he can catch up. Creepy as hell. I, I enjoy that. And I do like the final girl, lo gal, <laughs> final girl, Laurie Strode, played by Jamie Lee Curtis. I thought she'd done a very good job. Um, I know why she's called the Screen Queen now. <laughs> um, but for me, as of right now, I mean, who knows? Maybe when I watch the rest of the Halloween films. Um, but for right now, it's not really my go-to films for Halloween like during October and stuff like I think it's because I do like the wittiness of Chucky I like the fact that Ghostface is always a completely different post uh, person in Scream so I think for me it's just I like the creepy aspect but I do struggle to get into it like, I will watch the original in October again, because it is Halloween, so it is part of my Halloween watch list. So every Halloween, there's always certain films that I watch throughout October. And of course, Halloween is one of them, because why not watch it during the month of October? Because it is Halloween. Um, but it's just, I wouldn't watch it throughout the year. It wouldn't be like Scream, where I'd quite happily watch it throughout the year or child's play, you know. But I still see why it's a classic. I see why so many people enjoy this film. And I like the fact that there's hardly any gore. So obviously back then it was a case of you couldn't really do too much gore um, because obviously of the MPA and stuff like that. 
so it's pretty cool just to sort of like see just sort of like little aspects um so it's because sometimes gore can be a little bit too much at least in my eyes um but it's nice just to sort of like just see simple kills nothing too elaborate um but yeah i think for a first horror film you know that started off the whole having these killers situation so he's like the fa he's one of the famous ones you know he's with jason freddy ghostface chucky so like he's with the big boys you know that they're, they're the staple of horror movies you know you've got a good horror movie on when you've got one of them in it and like i said i do enjoy bits of it i do like the fact that michael is creepy like i said and the fact that he just sometimes he just stands there and you do feel creeped out like even when you see him standing by a bush or you see him standing in a corner you know it's always quite good to see that the music as well is is unforgettable like you you will always remember the music because it is such an iconic tune and of course it always pops up when michael is around which i think is pretty cool although it does hint at sort of like you know for a fact that michael's around the corner and stuff like that but that's his theme that's his music so I think that's pretty cool that he's got that as well. So yeah, this is an okay film for me. Um, like I said, the Halloween franchise, at least the ones I've seen, I think I just watched maybe during October, but that'll be it. And um, so final rating, probably give it a 6.5 out of 10. You know, it's enjoyable. It's not one of the worst films in the world, but it wouldn't really be my go-to film to watch throughout the year it would just be a halloween watch in october that'd be it i'd be quite happy with just that so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this review of halloween i'm gonna try and get these done every day because a review only takes like a couple of minutes um because i want to tell you guys my thoughts on the rest of the franchise especially since i haven't seen most of them so keep an eye out for those so yeah if you enjoyed this video then do give it a thumbs up and if you are new to this channel and you want to be there and ready to see the rest of the Halloween reviews, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell down below. And also let me know your thoughts on the original Halloween. Do you enjoy it? Do you not enjoy it? Are you like me who's in the middle who's very much like they get the creepiness, they enjoy certain aspects, but it wouldn't be a go-to film? Please let me know in the comments down below and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!